So this morning, me and my brother are gonna do, be doing a little caving. We're at Tituna Cave outside of Altoona. We're gonna be checking out this cave, um, see what it's about. It's a little far away from us, about two hours, 15, two hours, 20 minutes. But um, we're gonna see what it's like. Here we are coming up on the marker, Tituna Natural Area Cave Reserve. There's the cave, we're walking down into it. I'm not sure if it's to the left or the right here. And the cool thing about this is the water like seemingly just comes out of the ground right there. And the cave is in here. There's the cave. Going to be going in. We got headlamps. We'll see what we can uh, see in there. So as you enter the cave, um, some running water. Looks like it goes back to the right and goes back to the left. I think from what I saw on YouTube, you can check out this path to the right. So we're gonna go check that out. Really cool in here. Like I said, I got muck boots on because it's very, very wet. I know my brother didn't wear them, but um, just really awesome back here. So here's a pretty large, I guess, cavern. Um, I gotta be careful with these boots because they're kind of slick, but um. Man, this is really cool back here. So I'm not sure if there's stalactites or stalagmites. There's some really cool features back in here, but um, I am in probably like ankle deep water. So there's that, but um, wow, this is pretty cool. So I'm in a deeper section of the cave. Um, I'll climb up a bit, see if I can see up there. My brother's back there, he can't make it because he doesn't want to get wet. So I'll venture on, see if anything else is up there. So it goes back a lot further, but uh, as I'm by myself, I'm gonna turn back. But this is really, really cool back here. Uh, just awesome. So I actually went back, got my brother, and he found a way to make it up without getting wet. So we're gonna back and we're gonna do a little more exploring. See how far we can go back here. What, Tom? So we're getting back here where you can't stand up anymore. I mean, I'm crouched, I'm six foot three and I'm crouching substantially. But this is really cool. Going back here. Is it slick? So we're about maybe a little bit more than a quarter mile past here and we're actually going to stop and head back um just explore a little but uh yeah this is pretty cool Here's some cool formations uh, coming down from the ceiling. Right there, 
as well right there. So like I said, we're like a little bit past a quarter of a mile back here, but uh, we're gonna head back. Um, obviously I don't wanna run out of lights. I mean, I have a headlamp too, which I turned off just in case. But um, this is a pretty cool hike. So as I mentioned, we're headed back. Um, not doing anything obviously too crazy because I value my life. Um, but this is so far a really cool hike. We're getting into that park now where the part now where you gotta crouch down. I'm sure if you were smaller you wouldn't have to crouch. Like I said, I'm 6'3, so I gotta crouch. So there are some parts, my brother just came down one where it's really, really slick. And like I said, I have on muck boots. He has on regular hiking boots, so he has really good grip. Why don't? So you know there's always that trade-off of do I want to get my feet wet? Or do I want to have better grip? So we made it past the hard part. Now we're exiting the cave. We spent about maybe 30 minutes just doing a little exploring. So this is a really cool hike. And here we are officially exiting the cave. Now there is like a little smaller cave up there. I don't know if you can go into it. It does look like you can, my brother. Look like he checked it out. But um, yeah, pretty cool area. So that was it, Tituna Cave. Pretty cool some water trickling down and like I said beginning water just like seems like it just comes like right out of the rock over there <laughs> 